It's winter time. It's perfect for casseroles and pastas and heavy, yummy, comfort foods. But what if you're trying to stay away from pasta? What do you do? In the summertime, there's zucchini. In the wintertime, da 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 spaghetti squash. Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to Tasty Thursday. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to deal with spaghetti squash. So I want to cut off the ends. You may ask why I have a napkin underneath it. It's so the thing doesn't go flying everywhere. Yeah, it's that hard. Got to deal with it. If you have a hammer, it would be even better. And there I have two halves of spaghetti squash. I'm going to scrape the seeds out. And there I have two halves of spaghetti squash, cleaned and ready to go. Optional, but I'm putting a little bit of water in here. Put spaghetti squash on pan. Put the cut squash, cut and clean squash, in a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes or until it's tender, and then we'll show you what it looks like. When it comes out of the oven, it's soft this is about 35 minutes in the oven and you just start shredding with your fork yeah this kind of looks the way we did the chicken the other day but you want to go kind of stem to stern you don't want to you you can do it this way but it's a whole lot easier and more effective if you go from the one end kind of the pole of the pole on the squash and when you are done scraping that out you've got squash that looks kind of like pasta a pretty easy way to make spaghetti squash and turn it into some kind of gluten-free, extra vegetable, everything yummy, perfect texture, good for you, really fun to look at, delicious spaghetti squash pasta substitute. Top it with anything you want. You can make your family regular pasta if that's what they want. But you can eat your veggies. Happy, happy, tasty Thursday. If you like what you've seen, press like. Tag a friend you think should see it. Share it. And don't forget to subscribe. Who knows what's coming up next week?